<laughs> Welcome back to that soccer podcast. I'm Alvin. And my name is Joe. <clears throat> and fuck. Happy New Year. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Happy New Year and uh hope you guys had a great Christmas. Uh I don't remember last time when we spoke, but I'm pretty sure it might have been Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve. Yeah, it's probably Christmas Eve. It's holiday time. Yeah. Um I spent the time with my family. I had a really nice time. I got everything yeah. I wanted. You got drunk? I didn't get drunk. I don't I don't get drunk. But I got everything I wanted. I'm talking yeah. about this in particular. <laughs> I, like I said last time, I'm pretty sure. Messy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, both, we were both appreciative of Messi giving us a gift. Oh, yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah, just chill here. I completely forgot about the ball. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> we were supposed to pass this around, and whoever holding it gets to talk, but we were talking too fast. Yeah, pretty much. To pass it around. But... Yeah, I just chilled here yesterday with Jenna, watching Elf, watch Elf, and ate ice cream. Sounds like a lot of fun. What kind of ice cream? I had a mocha, a uh, chocolate chunk. I never had that. <clears throat> so good. My favorite is probably, I think coffee. That's basically what it is. Is it? Yeah, it's coffee ice cream with the chocolate chunks in it. Hmm. It's nice. So or good. Rocky Road. What do you think about that? What, is that, is it's it's like, no it's ice like, cream with chocolate squirrel? Uh, also nuts, I think. Ew. I hate nuts. You don't like nuts? No. Any kind of nuts? Not for me. Peanuts, walnuts, uh, cashews. I like peanut butter. Almonds? I don't know. Peanut butter's good. Almonds and, like, chocolate. They're not horrible. The chocolate isn't horrible. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, I, I, I spent mine. Uh, uh, that was your New Year's? Yeah. Uh, my sister was over yesterday mm-hmm. and she was talking to me about like this TikTok that she's been seeing where people like while, while the ball drops or while it like turns to New Year's mm-hmm. that they hide underneath the table not hide but like they go underneath the table and like apparently they're supposed to like start like a the best year of their life or whatever what? yeah I don't know I didn't just, I didn't want, really want to do my research on it so I just trusted her <laughs> and so she claimed the the dining room table Right, and mm-hmm. she went. On, I was under there first, and she's like, "I called this, get out!" And I was like, kicking her out. I was like, "Get away from me!" I was like, "This is mine." And then um, she got under there, and I was like, "I don't want to be under here." So I left. I was trying to think what other table I can go, so I went under my setup in my own room. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty fun. My God, that's all I did. That's so superstitious. They were, yeah, I mean, like that's how Hispanics are, though. Yeah. Very superstitious. Yeah, I guess. Um, like Messi wearing the the red, the ribbon, ribbon around yeah. his ankle. That that's really. I mean, though. I guess it worked. I mean, how many how many other people you think like handed him ribbons and be like, for good luck, and he just never wore them, but like that one time on. I mean, I don't know. Maybe because it was a reporter and he gave like a backstory to it. Mm, yeah, that's true. And people would just hand him something like, here for good luck. He'd be like, all right. But he gave like a whole backstory about his mom. <laughs> Um, what else? Mm-hmm. Yo, you actually, you wanna know what's something that's like kind of, I don't know if it's cynical, but I find it kind of nice how my sister broke her 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 headphones. Mm-hmm. She used to have AirPods, or she had AirPods. I gave it to her a couple Christmases ago, and then she broke them. And then I'm like, from the start, I was like, I'm not getting you another pair of headphones because you you just proved to me that you're irresponsible. And she <laughs> lost mine. So I, 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 I yeah, I gave her some, I gave her my, my, my Beats Pros, my Power mm-hmm. Beats Pros, the ones that are wireless, and then I had to like move my mom's car for, for whatever reason, mm-hmm. and then I check in the cup holder, and then there's one of them, and she had the other one, so I was like, where's this, what, what are you doing? So I took it, and I was like, yo, can I have my AirPods back, or my, my headphones back, and she's like, uh, yeah, give me like, give me like two hours, I have to, two something. hours? She's like, I have to do something real quick. I was like, what a liar. So then I, I showed it to her, and then I told her that I'm not going to get her headphones because she's just irresponsible. But I got it for her anyways, um, and then she wasn't expecting it at all for Christmas. So when she opened like the, the wrapping paper, I was just like looking at her because I just love reactions. Mm-hmm. And then she was like, she's like, no. And then she started crying, which I thought was like super nice. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Seeing people cry sounds kind of cynical, but I guess if, it, if it's under the right conditions... That's nice. Oh, that's what you meant, cynical. Yeah. 
Uh, you wanted to see her cry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now uh, she knows. I mean, yeah, I already told her. Oh, uh, okay. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always nice reactions for Christmas. That's what I aim for. Oh. What? When you're talking, I think it's something to talk about, and then when you stop, it just goes away. It's so fucking annoying. Um. Oh, did you watch the ball drop? Is so. Go ahead. I didn't watch it because no. I was underneath the. Floor. Oh, you're underneath the desk. <laughs> I was underneath the, the desk, but before that, we don't have we don't have cable anymore because nobody mm-hmm. watches TV. No, we don't and, either. And so. We couldn't really find the ball drop anywhere, and if we were gonna find it, it was gonna be delayed, mm-hmm. right? Because I don't know, let's just wait. Like twelve or three, like oh, three, two, one. Right, right. and for, you know, I've been in New Year's for like two minutes. Already. <laughs> but I tried going on YouTube, and everything on YouTube was just kind of whack. It was, it was like, like a, a countdown or something. No, it wasn't even a countdown. It was just like a New York from an aerial point of view, or oh. <clears throat> or people like jumping around dancing or whatever. It wasn't even yeah. like like the ball or a time. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I didn't. I didn't really see the ball drop. Why did you? No, I didn't either. Because my sleep schedule has changed. Because I slept I, through New Year's. <laughs> I started working at like seven a.m., so I had to get up at five. Yeah. And I would fall asleep at like ten. Mm-hmm. But I tried to stay up this at this time because of New Year's, and it was like eleven o'clock. I'm like, oh, I'm not even that tired. And then we were watching a movie, and we were both playing here, and. I was like, in like a couple minutes, I like fell asleep. Nice. And then you guys both woke up and you're like, oh. Yeah, I set an alarm for 11.45 to watch the ball drop. Uh Uh-huh. And then we woke up. But she fell asleep too. And then we were like, let's just go to bed. (laughs) I'm not watching that. (laughs) Too old for this. Yeah. No, staying. Like forcing myself to stay up to watch a ball drop. Mm, It's just New Year's, right? When you're closer to death. Yeah. I'd rather sleep. Word. I feel that. And I got like, text from everybody my family I'm like oh yeah happy new year <laughs> <laughs> it's funny as hell um yeah my sleep schedule would be kind of messed up too yeah yeah it's not it's, oh yeah cause it's you're, kinda, you're not in school right now yeah but I don't know sleeping is weird my sister takes melatonin really yeah I don't I don't like it though cause she can't sleep cause she has to sleep what do you mean like like because she she works a 9 to 5 Mm-hmm. So if she's not asleep by like ten, then or she she also wakes up at five for the gym. Oh, okay. So like if she doesn't sleep at a certain point, then her whole like routine gets messed up. Yeah, I guess. But I, I don't like it because it gives me headaches. Really? Or it makes me like groggy. Oh. It makes me groggy in the morning. So I've never taken it. So I don't know. Mm, it's, it's I don't know. It's kind of weird. Well, I take the gummy versions, mm-hmm. so I'll eat it, and then um, I'm like what the hell is this this is like nothing and then like two minutes later I'm just like knocked the fuck out so medicine is weird I don't know I feel like if you rely on like I don't want to say drugs drugs, but it's like gummy (laughs) drugs it's it's harder for your body to naturally do it yeah there's definitely some science behind that that it like takes away from the natural aspect yeah because your body produces melatonin right when you like feel sleepy and everything Oh. I don't know. I guess it works for her. No, Kat, there's actually something I wanted to talk about, but I forgot. And I didn't That's what I'm down. saying. I always think of something, and then I fucking... When we stop talking, it just goes away. You want the ball? Does that help you? Yeah, probably. Right. Um... <laughs> did, did it help? <laughs> oh, yeah. My fucking... No, I'm just kidding. Have you ever watched Rocky? Yeah. Like, do you remember Rocky? I don't remember, like, details, but... You didn't watch all of them, did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, you didn't watch all of them? Yeah. So, we're, I'm, rushing, I'm rewatching it. I, th- I said, like, my sister, like, four times. Mm-hmm. But with my sister. And I always thought, or I think, I thought that I remembered the first one to be the best one. Yeah. And then I rewatched the second one yesterday, and that was... Really? In my opinion, so much better. I think like, Rocket Two or Three was the better one. Four, I think is four. My I think is my favorite. Four. How many I is there? They're all really good. Five. Five. Yeah, F- five is kind of when it, when it fell off. Maybe I didn't watch all of them. 
it's 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 kind of hard to like yeah. watch them all because they're all pretty old, and it's like a lot of like empty spaces in between, and at the end it's like the big fight. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, really good series. I, I recommend you rewatch it if you have if you yeah. ever thought about it. When when like when Jenna got COVID, I went to my mom's, and. I like rewatched the whole Fast and Furious series. I don't like that. So I never watched like the first three or four. Oh, you like yeah, okay. So I watched it, and those movies are good. But then it starts getting stupid around like seven, eight, <laughs> yeah, nine, he's still, like ten, eleven, twelve, I, thirteen, I do, fourteen. I do this all for family. <laughs> and then he's like dinosaurs flying. Him. <laughs> do it for family. <laughs> <laughs> now, one, those one, first couple ones are really good. One through five. Hey, wait, you, you talking about uh, Tokyo Drift as well, or? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't like. I never watched Tokyo Drift. No, that's no. good. <clears throat> but yeah, this is just an int- introducing Han. Whatever his name is. It was just him, right? That was he was the yeah, person. Yeah, his, his backstory. And why Paul Walker went there. To Tokyo. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't Paul Walker. It was. The other guy. Stop moving that around. Shit, it's probably making noise. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. We gotta be conscious about what we do with the table because in the last, I guess, not the last episode, but episode six, when we reacted, we had our, well, basically me. <laughs> I had my phone here and I kept like dropping and placing it on the table. It was making a lot of noise for the mic. So, sorry about your ears. I, w- I didn't realize until I edited it. Edited it. Edited it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you want to get into the last match week? It's been a pretty long week. Yeah. A lot of games. Because um, we're kind of like... We're, we're not like really a behind, week ahead though. or we're, behind. No, we're, we're definitely not behind. But it's just like a, a lot of games happen in a short amount of time. These last... Yeah, yeah. This last week. Like That's the World Cup because we... Like, the week went by, we covered like 20 games. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So, <clears throat> but I'm saying like episode wise, when it comes out, oh, it's that's what you like mean. Two weeks ahead, and we're talking about two weeks before. I don't think it matters. Yeah, to we be honest, go. we can just go over it. Um, you want to start with the prem first because I think that's what is what what is first. Yeah, I think Aston Villa just beat Tottenham two nothing, which is kind of disappointing for Tottenham. Twelfth place did, team beat a. Fifth yeah. place team. Yikes. Right. Hey, I think it just ended. We didn't watch it, though. Because we were setting everything up. But I'd say an overall disappointing week. For, for your expectations? As a Man City fan. I mean, you guys won one. We did. We won. We, very, we beat Leeds 3-1. And then I think I watched the second half of that game. Or... That was kind of didn't have them. Some of it. Mattered. That's a good game. Holland scored, of course. I think. He scored a brace. Yeah. Scored a brace. He scored in the second half, 51 and 64. Easy money. That was Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. And then yesterday. What about Davis Everton? Oh, yesterday? Yeah. They, I watched that game. They played fucking horrible. It was so bad. What was wrong? It was a... So sloppy, and like they didn't look like themselves. And maybe they had a young player in the midfielder. I forget his name. Um, N- Nico. Did he did he come on or was he? He, he got subbed off. He got subbed off. In like the seventh. I know. Maybe I see the only young player I see here is Lewis, right back. Yeah. Right back. Yeah, he was right back. He was eighty two? Number eighty two. Yeah. No. He was like in the midfield. He was playing off in the midfield. He lost. Yeah. He he didn't play horrible, but I guess he just wasn't used to like situational plays. Okay. And like how to move the ball up. And yeah. then. He's experience. Like the 80th minute, Pep finally made subs. And he subbed on like Gundawan, Foden, and someone else. Alvarez. Alvarez. World Cup champion. World Cup champ. But he, got, he got really like. They, they posted a video in my city on YouTube. Mm-hmm. You sent it to me. Yeah. I thought that was kind of cool. How they're all like... Yeah. Happy for him. Even though he... He's kinda, so humble. How he kind of fucking beat everybody there. Yeah. They're all like <laughs> tossing him up and then... Yeah. 
I remember seeing Ake. And I was like, there was, oh, there was a crazy ass game there. And yeah. they just kind of like congratulated him. Yeah. It was kind of like they have, they had, their countries had beef in the moment. But it's like after, it's like kind of show your respect and sportsmanship. I mean, yeah, respect and sportsmanship, but like. Unless it's personal. Deep down, I'm kicking this guy's <laughs> ass. No, um, that was a nice video. I, I like like the the Holland interaction. Yeah, I was he, gonna like, say that. There was like, like Julian. Uh, yeah, he he walked into the room. He like he like sped like, past somebody else. He's like this, <laughs> and then he walks in. He's like Julian, and fucking in front of like the whole. He's like congratulations, brother. Yeah, and then he like grabbed him, he hugged him <laughs> like like a bear. <laughs> he's like a fucking giant. <laughs> he's so funny. What? Okay, back to the Everton game. Um. I kind of suspected that Everton were going to score because they were creating chances and putting a lot of pressure on uh, City's defense. And they just... City's defense just didn't look like themselves. They didn't... It was like they had no game plan. They had no Diaz. Right? No, Diaz no it was either. Stones and Kanji. Yeah. I think Aki was playing too. Aki left was left back, back yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> no Cantelo or Walker. Walker's on the bench. Why? Oh, he's injured or something? I don't know. Cantelo's also on the bench. Too. I know he was injured before the World Cup, but he played versus France. Yeah, he played that game. So and when he got dusted, by maybe he's still recovering. We'll never know. They're both on the bench. Cantelo was too. No way he's injured too. No, he wasn't injured. The fuck. So. I'm confused then. Maybe you just want to get Lewis some playing time. And Holland and one of the Everton center backs, I forget his name. Like there was three. There was Tartowski, G- Cody, and Godfrey. G- Godfrey. They were, they had like beef. They kept fighting. And he was, I guess he went got in Holland's head. But every time he found he fouled Holland, Holland would like um, break his get arm. riled up. Oh. He'd be like, yeah. <laughs> Because he, he probably thought that he was in their heads. But you can't, they're in each other's heads, basically. It's a whole game of psychology. Yeah. But, I don't know. They couldn't do shit. They couldn't make any chances. Are you scared for City to lose the title? I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird because we had this World Cup break, which we never had before in the middle of the season. Yeah. And It's kind of like the season's starting up again. Yeah. <clears throat> but I don't know I think it's more like we gotta rely on Arsenal to lose some games they see that happening maybe against like Liverpool or us that's you like our, our only behind. hope you need a little more than that yeah but Arsenal looks really good right now all their players are in form they're like a team and it's not like like if they if one of them is missing then their team is just like yeah. Not put together anymore. Mm-hmm. Who, you you could just like slot anybody in in whatever spot, and yeah. they still function the way they. But they have a game plan. Right. And their all their players are making the right choices, the right times. Because hold on, I'm gonna need you. We this. just watched the highlights against Brighton, and it was all like lucky goals, kind of. But it was the like guard. they're they're the right place, right time. Yeah. And so I don't I don't think that's like pff, lucky. I actually, no, it could it, be like but, two or three of them. I think at least two of them were like tappings because they fell out of the goalie's hands yeah or they bounced off a defender right in front of him but I don't know I feel like that's kind of mentality like always follow up yeah and yeah not, that, not that's what up. I noticed too like if they didn't follow up then they wouldn't have that chance yeah how do you say this gentleman's name center forward striker and Ketia and Ketia like we, like you guys well, not you guys but <laughs> <laughs> they, they were missing Jesus and then they just like slotted him and slotted mm-hmm. him in and he worked just fine but then he played from last season. He was doing well. He's twenty three. Yeah. He's but even young. like yeah. Um, I guess they just needed a, a more experienced striker. I guess he's probably taking after Jesus too, like learning from him. Like Jesus did a lot. Tips. Yeah. So he joined and he made the impact right away. Uh huh. Wish he did it for fucking City. He's <laughs> getting to play him. He has have like eight eight forwards. I know. But I didn't like him. You didn't like Jesus? Yeah, like his first couple of years, he pissed me off. Because 
He was like a horrible touch, horrible dribbling, horrible decisions, horrible shot. Where'd he come from? From Brazil. Brazilian oh, team. Oh, really? Yeah. <clears throat> what? Oh, my God. Yo, who, the, who, number who 33, saying? Jesus, pissed me off. Number 33? Yeah. That was the number one he joined. Um, you said you said you wanted somebody to join City, but who was it? It was somebody that got recently transferred. You yeah. were like... Enzo. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, it was Enzo? Yeah. I'm, I don't think City going to sign him, but I think his play style fits City. Oh, I said that he plays similar to Gundogan. Oh. Which I think he does. We guys already have, like, enough midfielders slash we forwards. We do. That's why I said that I don't think City's going to sign him. And so he went to Chelsea? And you don't think well, he's Well, they're do still well? working on their his contract. Oh. Well, he's but it's looking likely. Like I said, Chelsea are push, pushing to sign him. But... You knew Chelsea are making some huge moves in the January transfer window. What do you mean? In what sense? They signed him, like, um, in Kunku, but he's coming in the summer. What? Why? That's how his contract is. Okay. He's starting in the summer. And then maybe Enzo. They're trying to push him to get him now instead of in the summer. Mm-hmm. And then they just, they just signed the Monaco center back, Badia Shao. Um, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'm looking at the transfers up right now. They just signed him, or is this now like... Just signed him, like, maybe yesterday. Okay, this is definitely not going to be happening with him. <laughs> how, do you, uh, how do you spell his name? B-A-D-I-A. B-A. B-A-D-I-A. S-H. Oh, Bad Chile? Yeah. Bad Chile. 21 years old, 6 foot 4, mm-hmm. number 5. Two goals in eleven matches. Yeah, he's like a, like a monster. Yeah, I think he had a special card last year in FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> One of the other broken French center backs. Right. All right. right. Sign him. Some other Brazilian guy from Brazil. It's like a young Brazilian guy. But yeah, Arsenal also signed a Ukrainian striker, which I don't, I don't even know who he is. It's like Mudrik. Never heard of him. Something like that. I think he's a striker. I don't know why they're signing a striker. Maybe... All they have is Enketia and Jesus, right? Yeah. Who else would they put up top? Or they, 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 could, they could push uh, Enketia to the wing. Mm-hmm. And then like, or let's say Jesus is out, they need a winger. Enketia to the wing. You need somebody up top. They can, that's where Mudrik Maybe. comes in. And then scores a hatch. Mudrik. Uh, any other games you wanted to go over? Prem side? You want to talk about that Liverpool game? There's last there. Yeah, that's there's just... Two, there's that's two just, own goals. That's just unlucky. He's man of the match. <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool's man of the match. That's one of the game. Yeah, it was pretty AIDS. I don't know. The first one was kind of like, okay. He tried to get it out, but it took a weird hit. It went over the goalie. And yeah, there, were, there was too much spin on that ball to make any yeah. distance. So it kind of The second like, one was like, bro... What are you doing? Eh, yeah. I get, I get it was like an awkward kind of position that he was in, but he made the wrong decision. <sighs> I just like, killed my arm. He was running kind of like maybe like slightly off the center of the goal, mm-hmm. and it bounced off the post post to his feet, but he kicked it with his right, which he should have kicked it with his left. It was, it was, it's easier to get out to the left. Not even that, but like, I don't even know. If he was like trailing the ball that closely, and it wasn't going in, I don't know. It's just weird. That it was yeah. like 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 who who kicked it? I think oh, it was Darwin. Darwin yeah, kicked off it. The post. Yeah, it was like kind of like bouncing at like a medium pace, and, and then the guy was like following it like right behind it. It bounced off the post, and then he kicked it with his right, which doesn't really make any yeah, sense. Yeah, he should have kicked it with his right. It's just unlucky. I don't know. I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen again. Hopefully not, but. He's gonna, he's gonna do some training drills with the ball <laughs> passing off the post. He's gonna wear a helmet during his fucking <laughs> during his practices. He's like the Belgian David Luiz. Yo, I actually thought it was David Luiz the first time really? I saw that. Yeah, because their kits were blue. Oh yeah. And so I was like, this is, "What kind of old clip is this?" And then <laughs> I see some randos face. I mean, Faye's face. <laughs> and yeah. But. Yeah. Um, but also, did you see? 
Luis Suarez sh- signed for Gremio. So weird. Why is that weird? Didn't he want to finish his career in Uruguay? I don't think I've ever... I, I think I might have heard that, actually. But... Probably still want some competition. Oh, wait. We gotta talk about the elephant in the room. Not Ronaldo? Ronaldo signing for Al Nassar. Al Nassar. I don't like that. Yeah. It's kind of whack. It is really whack. It's obviously for the money. I mean, yeah. Maybe he likes... I heard that his contract is really a seven-year contract. Seven two? year? Yeah. Because, like, I guess he's planning to retire there or something, but... He's already 37? 37? He's already 37. He's two years older than Messi. Oh, okay. But maybe not retired, but, like, I heard Saudi is trying to host the 2030 World Cup. Okay. And Ronaldo's going to be, like, an ambassador for the World Cup. He's going to be fucking... Like, I think that was in his contract. I don't think he's going to be around that long. And he's going to make, like, a lot of money from it. It's all about the money. It's whatever, I guess. There's no passion. Mm. I don't like the money. Can it be my goat? (laughs) Right? We still got to get those tattoos. (laughs) I don't know where to get them or what the fuck they have, but I'm going to get one. Nice. But there was a bunch of posts about... Ronaldo, like, two months ago in his interview, saying he would never go somewhere for money. That was two months ago? I thought, that yeah. was like, I thought, I thought it was, like, 2015 or something. No, like, the I interview with Piers Morgan. With Piers Morgan? Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't know. It was two months ago. Yeah, but he said that he wouldn't go anywhere for money, like, solely for money. That's not, like, something he would do. And it's probably not solely to for him money. joining out in the stands. He has, like... The most money in the world, though. Like he doesn't need it, so I don't think I don't think the reason he joined is solely for money. It has to be something Why? else that we're, we're not like aware of yet. Maybe I don't know. Mm. Maybe it's the World Cup thing. It's just dumb. Like I'd rather see him in the MLS or like you know. somewhere, you know, where I could still watch him and not have to like look on illegal sites. <laughs> Well, why would you want to watch him? Rather watch oh, Messi and PSG. Right. No, so, something funny about that. I was like, uh, Messi's ninety-one goals in a calendar career are no longer safe now that Ronaldo went to the Saudi <laughs> League. <laughs> you know, he's gonna score like two hundred goals. I think so. What, what if he yeah. sucks there? Gotta be sad. It's crazy. It's like him versus the Qatar national team. Mm. Every game. Basically, a high school football team. Football? Football. Oh, I think more like American football. <laughs> and then try to show it the future of Ronaldo's career. It would basically, like, because of his contract, he would break the goal scoring record or whatever, like we, ta- we just said. He's scoring 200 goals in a season, breaking Holland's record or whatever. And then. Think. And he would go to MLS, and then he would sign for PSG. Oh, I think end his I, career with Messi. I think I saw shoot that. Messi. The <laughs> 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 the next picture was like goat debate ended. Messi's dead. <laughs> oh, so I wanted to find it. It was so funny. I, love I didn't talk. expect that. And that wasn't really like a serious thing. Ronaldo <laughs> than shooting Messi to end the goat debate. And then he wins the World Cup with the most goals and assists. That's so stupid. I saw a lot of memes about Darwin. Really? Missing a lot of what? shots. No, cause he's in the World just, Cup? No, no not, not in the World Cup, but just like in general. He's just been like not on target. Yeah. So. Maybe we just saw he hit the fucking post. Yeah. Well, there, there was like a clip of like some, somebody getting angry and then Darwin comes in and he pushes somebody, but he misses. And then, and then, I think I saw that. <laughs> it was so like, funny. Even his pushes are off target. <laughs> that was so funny. Fucking hilarious. That guy's a meme. Yeah. I think the conversation between him and Holland is over. Pretty I much. mean, people stopped comparing them. Yeah, I don't know why people even were like comparing it to begin with because he had. Because last year. He had a good like Champions League game against Liverpool. 
Yeah. That's what it was. But that's what he was doing all all the time on paper with Vika. I mean, I guess. But like, it's it's been. That's how he was playing. And then he joins Liverpool and shits the bed. He was. He's not like bad. He gets in good spots. He just can't finish, pass, dribble. I saw. I think. <laughs> I saw. I saw a post and like everything. That. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just he's like too overconfident. Like he needs to, he needs to play relax. with his team. He needs more. to relax, yeah. He's not a team player. Fucking hair's wild. <laughs> um Oh, we didn't fucking start a timer again. I mean it doesn't really matter. There's, there's a lot of dead space we'll in between. Feel it out. Yeah. <laughs> well, so you wanna talk about your Barcelona versus Espanol? I have a little list to go through here. A little so, list? A little list. Alright, let's, let's go. Let's so have it. Atletico played Elche. Okay. Right? Uh, Griezmann was pushed to midfield. He, Where he was shining in the World Cup? He was playing center mid. He got man of the match. Nice. And he dyed his hair pink. <laughs> the stages of grief after losing Bro, the final. <laughs> I was like... I don't know, he's, he's gone off the rails. <laughs> he's crazy. <laughs> but um, I was watching the highlights and then... It was the first one was like thirteen minutes in or, or whenever the goal was scored, mm-hmm. and then I was like, I was like, okay, how did they score here? And then I was like, who the fuck is that with pink hair? And then I see on the back of my shirt number eight. I was like, there's no way. And I was like, he fucking pink number eight, me. Griezmann's eight. This is this is like shit jersey. It's twenty seventeen. Relax. <laughs> yeah, because because Felix is seven, and so. Oh, okay. I was like, who the fuck is that with pink hair? It looks so bad. Really? It looks horrible. Oh, because he has, like, a buzz cut, right? Yeah. I mean, blue looked fire. I think he had blue or light blue. No, that was a bape. That was a bape. That was a bape. And so... That looked good. Yeah, pink looked weird, though. Because, I don't know. Maybe just his head shape. I want to see it. Yeah. Maybe they'll put it on the screen, too, if I find it. And then he he, he got mad in the match because he got two assists that game. Right? Mm Mm-hmm. But there were, like, some lucky-ass goals. Really? Yeah. There was one that was like... Who scored? Uh, it was Felix and Morata. Do you see it? Holy shit. It's it looks, so bright. It's so weird. Who's your sponsor? Wellfin.com? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I much prefer them with a regular buzz cut or like a medium haircut. Yeah, I don't know about that. But, um, yeah, so the two lucky ass goals, one of them was like, it was like a nice play in the midfield, they pass it out wide, they pass it to Griezmann, Griezmann, Griezmann tries to do like a flick pass, mm-hmm. but it just comes off a defender, it comes back to him, and then he does like a short cross to Felix, Felix heads it in, right? It wasn't that bad, it wasn't that unlucky, but yeah. it was just like the, the bounce off the defender that made it kind of lucky. Mm-hmm. And then the second one was, Griezmann passes to Morata, Morata like dribbles through into the box, like on the, on the side of the box. And then he, I don't know what he, he does like a fake shot and completely sells this defender. He goes on the ground, right? He goes back, he, he kicks it. It's like that same own goal that FaZe scored. Mm-hmm. He kicks it, it goes like super fucking high and it goes in. The fuck is the goalie doing? Standing in place. I, thought he, I, thought, I, th- I think he thought that it went out. Oh. So wow. he didn't bother going for that. And so they won 2 nothing that game. They're fourth in on the table right now for La Liga. Nice. And then there was a red came. The red came. There was a red card that game. Mm-hmm. There's been a lot of red cards in lot in those games. I'm pretty sure there was like a double red card in Barca too, and there was a red card in. Yeah, there was two red cards. There was a red card in the Madrid game too. Really? Yeah. It was for Madrid or other team? Probably, I think the other team. Yikes. Yeah, it was definitely for the other team. What was the refs doing? They're just crazy. After they seen like. What happened against in Argentina versus Netherlands? They're like they got encouraged to just throw handing out cards. <laughs> but um, yeah, you you saw you saw the the penalty that was given against Barca. Do you think that was legit? I don't know. I couldn't. It was a real weird angle, but it didn't look like a penalty. He gave it like right away too. Yeah, kind of, maybe he didn't, he didn't even bother like different view it. revising it. I don't know. But it was also the same ref as Argentina and Netherlands. Yeah, the guy's the guy's just crazy. Yeah, I forgot his name, but the commentators were like, "Oh, he's taking over the match once again." <laughs> I already know. 
Yeah, I don't think that was from what we, from what I saw. I don't think that was a pen. It was yeah, like, it like a pen. he received the ball. It was a nice touch. He flicked it over a defender again, mm-hmm. like a hundred feet in the air, and then he falls. I think it was Erickson that like, not not even Erickson. Christensen? Christensen, yeah. It was Christensen that like touched him or like pushed him or whatever. And the ref was like, fucking pen. But. <laughs> That's a nice whistle. <laughs> <laughs> I can't whistle like this. Uh, no, but yeah. A stupid call, to be honest. And then Madrid played Real Valladolid. Mm-hmm. And they could have easily lost that game. Valladolid, I think. They could have easily lost that game. Really? Yeah. Did they win? They won 2 nothing. One of them was a really questionable penalty. Oh, Benzema scored twice, right? Yeah. It was a really questionable penalty because it was, like, off a corner. They heads it in, and then the guy, or the defender, has, like, his back to to whoever was heading it in. He goes like this, and then the ball, like, hits his arm. Oh, come on. And then um, they caught that. Uh, Benzema scored. And then somebody got a red. Oh, yeah. Somebody was, like, complaining, I guess, because... I don't really see subtitles whenever they're talking. So he was like, just like bitching to the ref the whole time. And then mm-hmm. the ref was like, you know, fuck you. And he sent him off. <laughs> a straight red. What a petty ref. Yeah, a straight red. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, they kind of fell apart and they conceded again after that. Sheesh. But they had really good chances and Courtois was like tested heavily. Really? Yeah. Damn. So I could have easily seen uh, Madrid taking the L that game. Don't Valada Lead have like a prospect? Um, who, who, who who do you think that would be? He has, he has like a weird name. I'll read you the whole list right now. Give me a second. <laughs> you read their roster. Yeah. They have... I think he was Spanish. Masip. That's the keeper. Uh, I don't think he's a prospect. No. Uh, maybe it was a right back? Francenda. Fresenda. Fresenida. I see it. Yeah, sure. It might have been him. Does it say his age? He's 18. I think it was him. Is he nice? I think... Maybe Madrid signed him? I don't know. Maybe Atletico? Some team. Some top team in the league is trying to sign him. Because he's like a really young prospect. He had a good rating. Yeah, he had a really good rating. He had the most yeah. tackles in the game. In the, yeah, yeah, so... I, I think it is him. I didn't even hear about him. From... For BTO. Oh, you listen to that guy? I have his notifications on Twitter. So I hear about all the the latest. That's how, like, the Spanish tweets. people usually get signed. Like, it's it's usually, like, somebody that's really good that, like, goes under the radar. Mm-hmm. And they just, like, pick up on him. Like, yeah. like Pedri. Mm-hmm. He came from somewhere. Definitely in La Liga, but I don't know what team. Wasn't he in the Barca? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe he was, but he got, like, sold. But... The I guy Gavi. Gavi, I think he was from Barca. Academy. Who's the other one that went... Nico oh, Gonzalez. Puig. 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 He went to the MLS. Yeah. Ricky Puig. They didn't like him because apparently he was a rat. A rat? Yeah. Kuman thought apparently he was a rat. Well, Kuman's a fucking bitch. Yeah. Probably wanted to make more space for more Dutch players. So. <laughs> I never know. Yeah. Uh, what else wanted to go over? Oh. And Liverpool signed Gakpo. Which is a pretty big signing. Well, I think he deserves it. Yeah. Uh, I think he'll, I think he deserves PSV it. PSV already trying to replace him. The who? It's some guy from the, I think Danish league. Was a young prospect. PS like, PSV and Ajax are like. They like. They bring up like the most prospects. Who else have PSV brought? I know I actually have it. Oh shit, you're right. Uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's some more people. <clears throat> no, Ajax too, like Ibra, Suarez, Robin. Was Robin in Ajax? I don't know, Robin was like a sh- on a shit ton of teams. He was on Chelsea, right? Yeah, and Real Madrid. Chelsea, Madrid, Bayern. I mean, I think Ajax. Uh... Van der Sar was on Ajax. Mr. Roy. Cruyff. Basically all the Dutch legends. Yeah, uh, Koeman. Reichard. Yeah. Yeah. 
They're nasty with it. Yeah. What else are we missing? I feel like we're missing something huge. I know. What do you think about cold showers? Cold showers? Yeah. I heard they have a lot of benefits in the morning. So the hot shower in the morning? Yeah. Specifically? What about night? I don't think it's good for you at night. Fuck. Cause <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've been taking though. No, I think it's because it wakes you up more. So Damn. if you, if you want to take it at night, you'd probably want to stay up longer. <laughs> but in the morning, it's, it like wakes you up so you don't feel the grogginess you're talking about. But I think it's harder in the morning because it's cold out. I don't think I don't think it would be that bad. I don't know. What I like about cold showers is that like as soon as you get out, everything's warm. Really? Like, yeah, like I could like walk on fucking concrete <laughs> and it's warm. Yeah. Because it's like I've been uh, submerged in a, in a tank of just ice, and then I suddenly get out and like even even the the air is warm, like around your skin. Huh. So I guess it would be opposite of hot shower. Once you get out, everything's cold. Yeah, but like. Hot showers are nice. I just had a lot yeah. of them. And I, I felt like switching it up. And um, torching myself. Mm. I was going to say something. <laughs> <sighs> ah, fucking bag. What's that uh, in the gym? It's not, it's not really a machine. It's more like a bench. Where like you... You stand on it at like a weird angle, and then you like bend down. It's like kind of stretch your back. Oh, yeah, yeah. What is it? It's it's a hyper extension. I need that because apparently that that's really good for like your back. Mm -hmm. And I have like not back problems, but like back stiffness, like strain. Yeah, not yeah. I don't know what you can call it. Yeah, there's there's another one. It's called reverse hyper extension. Backwards. No, you like. It's like a big, like, surface, I guess. You lay on it, and then there's, like, a lever, like a pendulum on the bottom. And you swing, you put it around your ankles, like, mm. and you, like, swing it up and down. And then it strengthens your back. I've been doing that at the gym. I gotta see that. I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> but it, it helps a lot. Nice. How long have you been going to the gym for? I think consistently about... I think it started last year in, like, L.A. What about inconsistency? Inconsistently? Past two months. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been going inconsistently. I'm probably going to go later. I w- I'd want to go, but, like, I don't know. Something's always stopping me. Like, the Your motivation. shoulder? Nah, not my shoulder. I don't give a fuck about my shoulder. <laughs> I'd break my arm if I could. <laughs> but... It's like, well, once I get there, or like what, like also signing up sounds like a hassle. You don't want to pay? No, I, I don't care about paying, but like signing up sounds like, like I have to walk in, I have to talk to people, <laughs> offer me a contract, do you want this, do you want this, like no, fuck off, like mm-hmm. that all sounds like a hassle. <laughs> and then, um, hmm exercises like you do everything yourself <laughs> like yeah. you have to like plan your own workout and if I don't do if I do my workout and I don't eat right then it's not like the same thing right I think that's what the, too. I think that's like what what uh, a lot of it is too though diet I don't that's really, what I struggle with I don't really care about like what I eat like I'll eat whatever yeah, I'll okay. eat once a day but yeah. um, it's hard to keep up with it it, yeah. it becomes a lifestyle though I mean, yeah, I see that. I definitely see that for sure. It becomes an addiction once you see your results. Mm. And then you start to think about the food as fuel. It's like, I'm doing this for my muscles. Do you ever miss, like, other foods that you can't Oh, yeah, I still eat, eat fast food. But I kind of focus more on the protein. I try to get as much protein as possible. I don't think I don't think I would miss fast food. I think I would miss like dessert, eating whatever I want. Like not having to care about like how many grams of protein, um, how many calories. Yeah, I guess. 
how many, you know, like, I, I think I'd miss that. Like, yeah, I'll, like, one day I'd wake up, like, yo, I kind of want onion rings. <laughs> and then I'll eat onion rings. Or, like, I'll eat, I'll eat, like, a burger. You'll make it from scratch? No, I won't make it from scratch, but I'll get them somehow. <laughs> I'll find my ways. But, yeah. I think it's hard for me because I'm just addicted to fast food. Are you? What kind, what's your favorite? I think the easiest is just McDonald's. It's the cheapest. There is their prices. Yeah. $2.59 for a McChicken now. Absurd. <laughs> Protest. <laughs> I had to buy it. It's hard. But. I just gotta commit. What okay. was the last, like, what was the defining moment for you? For what? You were like, I'm going to the fucking gym. I'm changing my life around. I think. Well, I started when I, was, when I started going consistently. It was with Bianchi and Chris. That was in LA. LA. Yeah, mm-hmm. like last year. And it's easier when you're going with people. It's because like it's, you kind of like a social thing. Yeah, you know? yeah. You kind of keep each other in check. You work out with each other. And it's like okay, we're going to the gym this day. Like, all right, I'll be, I'll see you there. But when you just go by yourself, you have to like discipline yourself. Kind of. I don't think I have trouble with that. I think I have trouble with like creating. A schedule for myself. Like some days, it doesn't have to be a schedule. I'd want it to be a schedule though. Like I, I think I, I, I thrive in schedules. Yeah. Yeah. Like, for school. Yeah. Or work even. Mm-hmm. You know, like I have to be up at this amount of time. I have to be there at this certain time. Mm-hmm. Like everything in between is kind of just like whatever. As long as I, I'm here, right? It like it like gives me like that little like check in my brain where like oh, okay. I'm doing something right. Mm-hmm. So. Having a schedule for the gym, I think would help me a lot. And I've been thinking about a couple of gyms, but I'm not really sure on which one to commit to. Uh, like LA is probably the easiest one, but like especially yeah, that gym sucks. especially now, I don't think it's the right time. Oh yeah, because mm. New Year's resolution people. Yeah, is it actually true or is it like a myth? It's true. Are you serious? Yeah. How long? How long does it last? Though, like a month. A month, yeah. <laughs> Maybe a couple weeks for some people. But I don't know. I, I think I'd want to do that. Um. What other gym? You go to Powerhouse, right? Yeah, that's right. There's a new one open, Jersey Barbell, in Wayne. Okay. And it's kind of like Sig, but it's less money. Twenty four, twenty four seven. Yeah. It, yeah, Sig I think we're expensive. all gonna sign up there. Sig is expensive. One opens. Who's that? Who's everyone? Like all the gym guys. Me, Shaq, Chris, uh, Mustafa. Rat- what was it called? Jersey Barbell. It's not open yet. But, like, they have an Instagram. And, um, they show themselves, like, building the gym and everything. I think it's like, nice, though. It is. But it's just expensive as fuck. Yeah. It's a hundred a month. Who was they talking to about? I think it was talking to either Chris or Casper about it. And they were like, oh, yeah, there's a contract. For mm-hmm. like those of those, for, for those of people that that aren't students, mm-hmm. how much is it? I actually don't want to give the wrong number. I'm like, I'm yeah, just, I don't know exactly. Discredit myself. It was like ninety. I want to say ninety a month for non-students. Yeah, but they give them like a deal for like. I don't even remember to be honest, but it was like a pretty good deal for those people who are students. But still, it was like really high. For mm-hmm. a gym, just because it's twenty four seven. Yeah, I mean it's also huge. Uh, they have a lot of machines. Though. They have a lot of machines. I, I don't. I haven't been like far left, so I can't really tell. Uh, I've been like mainly like the middle. They have like a lot of powerlifting stuff too there. I don't like how their dumbbells are set up. It's like a one long wall, and not like that many benches. It's usually how it is, though, no? Like, I don't know about not many benches, but, like, I remember Retro was like that. Actually, they had, yeah. a, they had a good ratio. Wait, remember how it is at L.A.? Yeah. LA? There's a lot of benches. Like, yeah, I like how it is there. But it's, the dumbbells is, like, It's kind of crammed, there. though. I don't like that about L.A. Really? Like, like the, the benches, like, you have to, like, watch where you're stepping. That makes sure you don't kick, kick a water bottle, step on a phone. Well, that's other people's fault. Yeah, I guess. But, I don't know. I like, um... Damn, which one was that? I think it was either Clifton or Garfield, LA. The one with turf? I don't know about that. No, no, not, not like, not like a full field of turf. I don't know what you're talking about. But like, Powerhouse has it too. 
I don't know. I've only been to Lodi, LA. Oh, maybe it was Paramus. I don't know. You only been to Lodi? Yeah. LA? Oh, interesting. But yeah, they have a really nice setup. It's it's not bad. But I've actually been uh, into running. Recently. Really? Yeah. I went to go running, I think Tuesday, like this past Tuesday. And it was like super peaceful. I went at like fucking one <laughs> and to like two in the morning. Was it cold? Surprisingly not. Oh yeah, like a couple of days ago, it was like sixty degrees. Yeah, was I, nice. I I was like working. I was working Tuesday, and I was working when it was sixty degrees. And I remember like taking because I have to like walk outside, obviously sometimes. Mm. And so I was like, it's not that bad weather. <laughs> I was like, let me just let me go try to go for a run later. And I put on like a hoodie. I had like two pairs of fucking socks and like some pants. <laughs> and then I just went running around town. Two pairs of socks, like two pairs. To keep me warm. <laughs> but how long do you run for I mean I, I wasn't like straight running I was like jogging for like a couple blocks and then I took a break and mm-hmm. then I jogged again basically just like walking around town though I had like a really weird route route whatever but it was like super calming especially since nobody was around yeah it's like you're just like, it's just yourself you listen but, to music yeah yeah but it's kind of uh unfortunate because that night there was a freaking a shooting. You heard about that or no? Oh, that guy. Yeah. It's like attempted uh, homicide. homicide. Yeah. Yeah. Some guy. Like, I think it was like the story was he shot his girlfriend or something, and then she got rushed yeah. to the hospital, and he got away, and they found. Did he try to? Or did he? He shot, shot her three times. Sheesh. I don't hear shit. I was walking right around like that place, or running, I guess. <clears throat> it was like Lincoln. If you know Lincoln. what that is. It's like, I think it's a couple streets from Ryan. Oh, yeah. I, I think it's like, next street over. I was like right by there. I didn't walk down that street though. I was like, <laughs> you heard the gunshots? I didn't hear shit. No, I had my headphones in. I was fucking, oh, I would have got fucking pulled over by one of the cops. Like, fucking put your hands in the air. <laughs> I was like, but no. Mm. I know any either. Anything else you wanted to cover? I feel like I've been rambling. I heard everything leaves my head. Any any videos you watched? Any movies? I'm gonna, I'm gonna write fucking topics down. You gonna you gonna buy the the Hogwarts Legacy game? When does it come out? It has to be soon. I think it's like February, I saw February something. Like a little short clip on TikTok, but it looked kind of old. What the? That clip of like, yeah, the, like the old game. Mm. It's kind of grainy. Yeah, it's probably old. Kind of like RuneScape. No, definitely not. Definitely like, not. Like the HUD. I don't think so. It's probably old. It was like a PS2 game. <clears throat> this one's gonna be fucking top of the line. I can't wait. I for hope it. so. I'm definitely gonna get that. <sighs> what are the games am I waiting on? Devin was told me to play God of War. Yeah. But it's only on PlayStation, right? No? They they remastered the the one before because there was a new one that came out. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and the one that came out before, they remastered on a PC, so. Oh, shit. But this one that just came out is only on PS4 or 5, whatever. How much is it? It can't be more than 60. I don't see it. But the one that's on Steam is like 30. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, my dad used to play all those, like, the first, I think he played the first three. That's a really cool story, actually. Yeah, I like it. I was watching, like, the really, like, short version of, like, the whole story. Mm-hmm. And it, like, kind of, like, made me stop doing what I was doing and just, like, pay attention. <laughs> so, that's a good sign. Yeah. A good sign for addiction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, do you want to wrap it up? Yeah, I think we can wrap it up. And wrap it up. Alright. Well, we got... Who's playing next? I think... Mm, Chelsea and West Ham? Next as in... Like today? Like an hour? Um, Chelsea. I didn't, I didn't see anybody else, to be honest. What? For the rest of the day? There was another game. Oh, wait. No, yeah, you're right. 
Chelsea and Nottingham Forest are oh, playing man. right now. Oh, Chelsea, they're playing. Chelsea's up one nothing. Oh shit. Sterling. Learned it from City. Yeah, we got that right now. No place like that. You could yeah. follow us on our socials. Thank you for watching. Sorry about missing a week. We didn't miss I, a week. Yeah, we did. We didn't. Yeah, we were at, we were here last week. I don't know. I'm talking about oh, like a upload the uploading. Oh, well, I guess we're sorry for missing a week. Yeah, I guess we're back on track now. I figure out the editing. Oh, shit. Yeah. Then. Alright, peace. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll leave you. With this. You're either you're either a smart fella or you're a fart smeller. Peace out. Where the fuck did you go? <laughs>